morning guys. Uh, this morning we got a special new uh, special needs unit came in. Uh, unfortunately, there's a small puddle of hydraulic fluid next to the lift, wheelchair lift. So, I mean, we know it's a leak, we just don't know where it's coming from. So, we're going to go ahead and um, start looking into this one, you know, tear some stuff apart and hopefully find the leak. Hopefully we have the parts in stock so we can go ahead and get it back on route and uh, ready for Monday. So, uh, let me go ahead and start trying to find this problem, trying to find the leak. Thank you. Well guys, uh, we kind of wiped the oil, but oil started on the left side of the lift. As you can see, it still has an oily film on there. So where I'm thinking the problem is going to be on this side, not the other one. So as I was going through real quick, I noticed that, uh, let me get some light in here real quick. Place it in hope that we finally go ahead and get to removing that hose. Well guys, uh, for this one I gotta get some kind of a, I'm gonna put a jack stand, a jack stand on this side and I'm gonna jack that, that side up. I gotta relieve the pressure off that cylinder because if I remove the hose, that thing is just gonna drop. It's gonna pinch my fingers as I'm working on it. So I have to keep it suspended. So let me go ahead and get those two anchors on there so it won't move anymore. And then we'll go ahead and get that. I hope you guys can see this. Uh, let me bend the hose a little bit. Hopefully, it'll be clearer. Can you see that little, that little bend right there? Well, that's the one that was causing the leak. So, let me go ahead and see if I can find this hose. And uh, if I do, put it back in there. And hopefully, that'll take care of the leak on this lift. Well, uh, that's where the hose is connected. One goes to the left, one goes to the right. The one that was messed up was the short one. I did find the part, but on this one, I'm gonna have to release the bolts on the bottom flange that hold the lift to the bus because the space in between the two flanges there, it's too narrow, the hose won't go through it. So I'm gonna have to kind of undo the lift give it a little more space so that that hose can go through there very tight little space guys that's why I couldn't record that well but I'm showing you what the little crevice that I'm working in uh, so let me go ahead and undo those bolts and try and pry the lift up just a tiny bit just enough for that hose to go through that little hole that it's supposed to go through and get it all tightened up all right guys Well guys, we went ahead and stopped the leak. 
as you can see that little silver silver cut in color gray in color nut house assembly that's all we replaced it was actually leaking from right there that's where the hose is pinched where the metal ends and the plastic begins and that's where the leak was so we went ahead and pulled the old one out and threaded the new one in and uh, cycled the lift and got all the air out of the system and it's running properly then I was gonna go ahead and fill up that reservoir tank make sure it's full put the cover back on this motor and basically just clean up that oil that's on the floor and that should be done thanks for watching guys